Lula H. Glenn. Lula H. Glenn was born March 5th. She was educated in the public school system of Atlanta, Georgia. She attended Tuskegee Institute and was a member of the Tuskegee Women's Track Team from 1935 through 1939, a member of the girls' basketball team, and she participated in other sports. Among the honors won were a member of the Tuskegee Women's Track and Field Team, which won the national championship for four consecutive years, winning the James M. Roach Trophy, High Point Scorer Women's National and Field Champion 1938, for several years, Mrs. Glenn held the American broad jump record of 18.1 feet. After graduation from Tuskegee in 1939, Mrs. Glenn taught home economics and physical education at Carver Junior High School in Bessemer, Alabama, and Lincoln Junior High School in Atchison, Kansas. Mrs. Glenn was one of the first to be inducted into the Tuskegee Institute Athletic Hall of Fame in 1974. She is now retired but was formerly employed as secretary to the surgical service at VA Medical Center in Tuskegee, Alabama. Among her responsibilities as secretary, she trained and oriented new secretaries and volunteer office workers. She has received seven outstanding superior performance awards. Mrs. Glenn is active in religious, civic, and social activities in the community. She is also a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated and Washington Chapel AME Zion Church. She is married to Mr. Miles A. Glenn, a lifetime member of Washington Chapel. I'm Stanley Moore and we're fortunate to be at the home of Lula Glenn, one of our local legacies and the legends in our community. Tell us a little bit of what first brought you to Tuskegee. What brought me here to Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. I started in grade school there in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I've been running from there. And after I left that, I went to the high, went to high school. In Atlanta? In Atlanta, Booker T. Washington High oh, School okay. in Atlanta. And I used to come to the track meet here at Tuskegee when I was in high school. Okay. And after that, Major Ab, I won several events during my high school in coming to Tuskegee he decided to bring me to Tuskegee and as soon as I finished um, high school there I came here in the summertime in 1936 to start training on track because he wanted me to go to the Olympics and I had plenty of time to train from then. So when you were in high school, you actually saw that I you was had here the ability. in high school. Everything mm -hmm. is right there. Right, <laughs> right. I, I know you pointed that out before. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I, I found interesting that, that you were saying that you came in high school to run track here at some of the events, and something that someone told me that Coach Abbott had the where was the, the forethought to see if he got the best here in high school, he might have the best here in college. That's right. Yeah. He, he did a pretty good job. Yes, he did. And and the year that I finished from high school that summer, I came here to Tuskegee. It was in the summertime. And we started training. And from there, all the year, we trained year round. And really? Uh huh. It was very hot. Where do you believe you got all of your talent? Um, could you tell me a little I bit? I loved it when I was growing up. <laughs> okay. I've been running all my life. Since you were a little girl. And I did when I was a little girl. Okay. And most of the time I would play by myself. We'd go to, out to Washington Park and swing, run, and walk Chattahoochee River. <laughs> it was right side the uh, park. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the water wasn't too high, but it, it and uh huh, yeah. and I think about it all the time now because during that time nobody would bother you see, but mm -hmm. I would get on those rocks on that river, jump from one mm -hmm. rock to the other, mm -hmm. and the overhead I started going under there, and I thought about it. I said I might fall in, and nobody <laughs> found me. <you see. laughs> 
Okay. Uh huh. But I played by myself, and I always have like being out, mm. right, right. doing things by myself. Right, right. So I was crying <laughs> in high school. I used to cry because everybody would beat me. Oh mm. really? Uh huh. So a friend of mine told me. He said, "Now what you do? Say so you can beat them. You can run as faster than they can." He said, "You see that rope or whatever they had at the end?" Mm. He said, "Now when you get in there." When you get down on your knees, you look at that string. Oh. You see how they do now? They, they run and they kind of look at the next one. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's where you going. Down there with that string. Uh -huh. Okay, and so that, that helped you focus that on the string. That helped me. I got in there and I <laughs> <laughs> When did you notice that you were different from other children your age? Uh, as it came to I didn't you know, think sports. about it until I got here in college. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. what, what, what made you think at that point that you were different? You just saw that you had some talent. talent. Uh -huh. really? I just like outdoor sport, really? everything. Skated. Really? Oh, no, yes. <laughs> Swim, I can swim too. <laughs> well, I almost drowned it once. <laughs> triathlete. <laughs> triathlete. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to swim uh, at the park. I slipped out there anyway, and had no business out there. <laughs> and uh, you know, I was hearing get in the water, and a little boy went to the end of the sliding board. As long as I could walk and stand on the the floor, yeah, it was all right. But when I got into that and I couldn't s step on the floor, I caught him with that little boy's neck. <laughs> and he hollered. <laughs> and when I finally could touch the ground, I brought myself out of that wall. 